Hey, thanks for joining me on a hike. Uh, I went up Green Mountain and I have some great slug footage for you and I'm excited to share with you what is in my backpack. hey -o. I have a backpack. Number one feature, a built-in uh, to the bottom. There is a rain cover for the backpack. First thing I think is important, number one is to have a plan. And I left it with a responsible person. Hopefully my husband's responsible, but uh, I listed what I am packing with me, the map I'm using. I put my first choice of trail that I was going to take. Then you also include a backup plan. You have a notebook and a, um, a pencil but it's got this um, pencil. This is actually something that you use to extend the life of your colored pencil by extending like the length of it. Um, but I like to use it as a case to keep the point on my pencil nice and sharp. These are full of water. Drank some decaf coffee on the way up. No shooting for safety. You want to dress in layers? I was wearing this earlier. I actually was wearing this long sleeve when I started the hike. Took it off part way through in case of a uh, rain poncho. An extra pair of socks because I am wearing just normal tennis shoes. Base layer for pants and kind of more of a base layer for top. I've got a bunch of granola bar kind of things because you're supposed to bring extra food that you're not planning to eat at all, which is in addition to the actual food that I brought. And then on the shelter end of things, I have a trash bag. It is a contractor grade trash bag. Cut, I can cut a hole for my face in it or my arms or a fire starter, a first aid kit little bottles of potable water. You have to treat water, uh, a headlamp. And I swear I packed extra batteries. Yes, bam, extra batteries for the headlamp. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Got a trowel, uh, it's a, a multi-tool. It's the one I had. So, and like a chapstick a GMRS, Bofang. Uh, my husband's into these, so he showed me the ropes last night. And he said that if I got tired of the sounds of nature, I could listen to the radio, which has been kind of nice. And I have gotten to listen to a few of, a few of the guys chatting on the radio. Yep, I copied that and I have done the same thing. Yep, yep. I was kind of concerned, though. Yeah, if I'm going to get spanked as long as everybody minds their P's and Q's. And Which is pretty fun. So I listen to NPR. Everywhere. He's paid off the mortgage with his Pixel Map money. Bought himself a nicer computer and a fancy sports car that now he's going to get rid of. Navigation. A nice, well-marked trail is always helpful. Um, a map is nice, too. So this one is actually when I printed off and folded and then the main part of the trails are on this side. I think you could do it lighter. This felt good, but this is literally the mountain-ish hike on the Kitsap Peninsula. It is pretty quiet. Oh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. Thermal and moisture barrier when sitting on the ground because uh, a wet butt is a cold butt. And here I will leave you with uh, some scenes from my hike.
These are some of the most polite cyclists. Black one. Just the very first of the wild rhododendrons were starting to bloom at the lower elevations and around Memorial Day weekend the mountain is just covered in brilliant pink. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this.